Okay, for this task, um, we're going to move on to this section here. So if you look here, we've covered pretty much all of these. So there are some that we have to keep going back to because it relates to a number of different items. For example, here, images to be in PNG format, 450 kilobytes. So that's going to be, uh, we're going to refer back to that point a number of different times. Same thing with the MP3 formats for the audio files as well. So we're going to start with this one first. So in the shop, it's a, this task is called Shopfront. And the reason for that is basically uh, because there's an image called Shopfront um, that we're going to open up and needs to be edited. And the image itself has to be opened and it needs to have the name of the shop. So we're going to open that up, go into Photoshop, yeah. You're going to open and find the file that's named Shopfront. There it is. And when you open that up, you'll find that it is a blank image of a shop front, no name at the top, and that's where we're basically going to throw it in. So we're going to unlock this. And we're going to keep this as um, shop, because it's a shop. Yeah, keep it simple, make it easy for you to understand. And we need to throw in the name of the shop there. Now, looking back at this, you'll see it says, in it's in JPEG format, so... For number one, we need to change it to a PNG before we put it onto the website. Number two, it needs to go into uh, the home page once it's all done. But it needs to include the shop name. Now, it doesn't say how. So you could put it in as a text or you can throw in the logo itself. So I'm going to show you both. Um, let's do the logo first. Now, the logo one is pretty simple. It's going to go to File, Open, and you find the company logo. Similar to how we made the banner earlier on. Um, and you just basically select it and copy and paste it in. So there it is. Press open. It comes up here. Use a black arrow. Control and A selects it all. And then you can basically drag it across to this image, shop front, and throw it in there. And then you can push it up here. Now, as you can see, it's too large. So what we can do is because it doesn't say it needs this here, the top button. It says it needs a name of the shop. The name of the shop is impromptu. So we can crop this bottom part out. Or we can make this smaller. So let's try the, f the second way first. So we're going to control and T, which is uh, free transform. If you can't remember that, it's edit, free transform. There it is. And we're going to use shift and drag it in, just to keep the, the proportions the same. Now, if I make this small and throw it in there, you'll see it might be a little too small to see. We could make it smaller and throw it on the shop window, but it's a bit hard to see again because of the writing and the font. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to decide basically how you want to do that. Now you could, because it doesn't say anything about how you edit it, as long as you actually edit it. So what we might do is I'm gonna undo this and leave it back to sorry, let me go here. Uh, undo, edit actually no. It's probably easier if I go to window and go to history and go to Oh, sorry. It makes sense if I press enter first, then go to, there we go, make selection. Put this back, we're back to normal. You see the logo still there. You could add a white box here just to make the logo easy to see. So I'm going to insert a shape, rectangular shape is fine. Make sure it's white, so I'm going to switch this around, or you can just simply click here and go to white and press OK. And you can zoom in by holding and control and plus on your keyboard. And go up a little bit. And basically get in cl as close as you can to this area here and just put a nice little white canvas for you to throw in the name of the shop so if I control and minus which is the zoom you can see it's a little bit easy to see you could also put other things here so you could pretend to have a poster there and hopefully um, duplicate this one so duplicate layer there it is and then we can move this across over here okay so we now have a poster here and a poster here and a banner there i'm going to bring this back across i'm going to just uh, edit and copy this time because i don't want to just move it across just yet because i want to use it again in a moment and i'm going to actually you know what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this one here so i'm going to delete this layer i'm going to work on this one here and I'm going to paste the logo, there it is. Control and T, 
and hold shift drag it in push it in there and if you use your mouse over to the corner can you see how the cursor is a curved one now you can put it in a diagonal position and try to fit it in diagonally now it might be best to do it this way around so you could do it like that just to keep it simple okay uh, or if you really want to impress you can throw in an image in there as well so what you could do is basically um, I'm going to go back a little bit undo no sorry go back to the history and go back sorry have to enter make sure it's gone in and then go back and put it back in again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to control it and T and hold and shift and drag it in fit it into the top half here and press enter there we go um, you could move it just make it a little bit nicer I'm gonna zoom in and what I'm going to do is find an image to throw in there to make it look more like a poster so I'm gonna to go to file and open and find an image that might suit this background so preferably something with a white background so I'm thinking perhaps this one here let's give this a go may work it may not so control A to select all and then we're gonna basically edit copy and come back come back over here edit and paste it's a little large that's fine control and T hold and shift drag it in Oop, let me do that again window history okay let's enter there we go let's try that again control and T hold shift drag it in let go of the mouse before let, letting go of shift and then we're going to move this in about there um, drag this in a little bit more so hold on shift I'm going to actually do about that much but what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to delete this background here so I'm going to use the magic wand click on this background click on delete on the keyboard disappears control and D there you go that's fine I might also select this little area here press delete and then control and D and that's basically it now if I zoom out from this control and minus that looks like a nice little poster uh, that works perfectly there I'm going to use the arrow and put that no let's undo that I was happy with where it was before what I might do is throw this one in at the top there we go and what I'm going to do is basically um, merge these layers there we go and then duplicate this one yep and then I'm gonna drag this across so I have two versions of the same one so I didn't need to actually make it twice you made it make it once and throw it in there you go that's perfect and then all we need to do is put the logo uh, the name of the website at the top here so all we need is this here but I don't need the bottom half Um so what we're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna you're going to use a crop so deselect so you don't want this dotted line anymore so control and D deselect and you basically take out what you need from there there we go press enter so that's cropped it out control a this time using the arrow we drag this in this time into here it is a little large but I'll throw it in there first and then control T hold shift and drag it in press um, actually let's get it in first make sure it fits in perfectly nope still not small enough so hold on shift drag it in and then put it in the middle there we go and that's that little dot there indicates if it's in the center and then you press enter and there you go that's it it's done so we're gonna save this so we're gonna go to file and save yeah that's fine uh, we're gonna save it as a shop front as it is perfect and if you remember 
early on in the exam paper it says that they want any image that's been used as a PNG less than 450 kilobytes okay so we've done the edit we need to throw it in but we need to change the format so we're going to go here file save for web devices web and devices and then we're going to go make sure it's png 8 look at the numbers here look at that 72 kilobytes way below the the, the limit that they've given us which is perfect press save there you go and um, we're going to save our shop front which is fine give that a second that's that done push this down and it says if you're forgetting always go back and check home page they want this in the home page doesn't say where so it's really down to yourself so I'm gonna go to my home page there it is and I've got a little spot for it there now it might push this down which is fine we're gonna just throw it in there um, and see how it goes so inserts and this is just an image there's no rollover it doesn't change so we're gonna throw image in and we find um, in the images folder and we want to find no, that's fine. We keep that down. We look for S for shop front. There we go. And it's not this one here because that's a Photoshop document. Yeah, we want this one here. And if you hover over it, it tells you PNG 72.8 kilobytes. Perfect. Press OK. And alternate text, we're going to call this image of shop front with company name. And we're going to press okay there we go now it is a, it is a little large now we can make it smaller we don't have to have this large in fact we need to make it smaller because if you look here it's extended the page so we can't have these gaps here so what I will do is uh, you've got two ways to do this you can either reduce the size of this so pushes it in yeah because you have the space but it is a little bit tall now so we are gonna have to reduce the size so you can drag it in yeah, but the problem with that is, can you see how the proportions change as well? So you have to make sure you do your best to keep the space on the right and the space on the bottom the same. So just drag it in. This is the quickest way, the easiest way. Push in, click away. And there you go. The height is fine now. Push this back in. There you go. And we can test this to see how it looks on the web page by clicking on Chrome here. Preview. Yes, we want to save it. Let's have a look. And press F11 to see what it looks like. And there you go. The width is perfect. There's no issues there. But the heights we're going to come back to once everything is said and done. So that's home. the home page pretty much done now. Um, apart from uh, the t-shirt that we need to throw in to link it to the merchandise page. So that's going to be in the next video.